Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you why I am selling the old Keurig machine. So let's get cracking. Okay, so this past Christmas, my wife talked me into getting her a Keurig machine uh, for her Christmas present. She wanted to get more into making teas and stuff like that. And the convenience of this machine was just really great. I mean, it honestly started out where we were just in love with it and it was, and it was um, well, it's just so convenient. And, um, but then it struck. I started drinking coffee with it too. And all of a sudden, it seemed like over a very, very short amount of time, we went from, you know, very, very little money outlay for our beverages to this was like a monthly bill. Those K cups that they sell you are very, very expensive. So we shifted our mentality and got those little red reusable ones. It's like it got a, a fine mesh screen so you could use your own coffee. But we never really stopped buying all the frou frou coffee. And so we were absolutely hooked. This little machine um, became literally a monthly bill, which was insane. I mean, uh, and I, just the other day, I kind of realized, I was like, wait a minute, whoa, hold on a second. You know, we are trying to live this homesteading life where we're being more frugal. We make and do just about everything we can do and make. Um, and, but this Keurig has kind of got us on a leash. And it was insane because we were spending, you know, 30 bucks a month in coffee. For me, that's like, what in the world are you doing? That $30 could be used several different ways, much better. And so uh, the Keurig is going up for sale. Thought I'd let you know. But the mentality is this. It's just that we, we as a people can be sucked into marketing, you know, you know, it's really convenient or it's really this or that, or, you know, th these big companies are very good at selling us stuff. And sometimes we don't look at the unexpected costs of it. I mean, we thought, hey, this is just gonna be great for teas and stuff like that. And all of a sudden it quickly became just throwing money away like crazy over something that we could have spent a third less or way more. I mean, we would probably only be spending eight bucks a month on our teas and, and uh, coffees rather than 30. And my, my challenge, the only reason why I'm throwing this video out there to you is just that as a homesteader, we, not, we need to be always analyzing what we're doing to see if we can make it more effective, more efficient, costing, you know, everything, you know, how, how, how can I make this better? Or what can I do that's, uh, you know, double dipping, so to speak, where you can do two things with the same uh, amount of effort. And so the Keurig, gotta go. So all that to say that this poor little guy here will be homeless very, very soon. If one of you does not contact me and purchase the aforementioned soon to be homeless, sad little Keurig machine. There you have it. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead. Please don't forget to share. You have an amazing day.